and hello YouTube and this is Blader Zara right now um, yeah I just wanted to give you a heads up of what happened over the past week here last week I didn't upload anything because well I almost lost everything because of a wildfire so yeah um, viewers the people that's had fire um, experiences or you know in their life of a devastation or something happened bad be warned because this some of this footage is uh, kind of disturbing so viewer discretion is advised you know yeah hey, Chan. I love power fire you know what I'm seeing Dude, we are seeing um, orange smoke right now. We're seeing so much. It's like a giant nuke like hit behind our house. Oh yeah, dude. I'm... Dude, guess what? I actually hear the fire. What? Right here. Well, I hear the uh, airplanes. I guess it's not the fire. Hear the fire. He can't. I hear the um, airplanes. Never mind. But yeah, I see the, um, We'd be evacuated by that point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're hearing smoke. And, uh, and that plane is still up there. That's why. doing a pass right now. Oh, well, they said there's something about... I don't uh, see it. Fire the, uh, power lines. Oh, there, there it is. It's got a lot of ass, too. And, uh... Also, there's an expression on a lot of power. Does that mean it did something? When it changes color like yeah, that? Yeah, it did hit something. And that uh, it will most likely, it, it will be supposedly back online at, uh, uh, that should be, will be back on around 8 o'clock today. I can hear the helicopter. Well, Beyblade fans, <laughs> uh, this is kind of worrying some. There's a fire next to my house. And they're already on it. It's starting to spread. Uh oh. To the truck mobile. I'm gonna see how what's going on. Oh. Hold on tight. So it's down the hill right there. I don't know if you can see that a little bit. There's a flame there. It's down the river. It's coming up and it might hit those houses over there. But yeah. Land. Well, better skedaddle before it uh, comes up here by the truck. So, this part, I'm just going to tell you what the experience was like, you know. After I seen the fire that you seen there, I went back home and that's when you know the family said, oh, it's time to go, we have to get out of the house. There wasn't much time at all and I just grabbed my computer and all my data and everything and just left. You know, and we had the feeling, I've even, I was rushing through, getting stuff ready, packing my clothes and everything. Because people, you only have about five minutes or even less at times with a fire. It spreads so fast. Even with modern day, all this, these modern, you know, furnitures and everything, you know, it's a lot more flammable. And, yeah, you only have a few minutes to get out. So I grabbed my, you know, my clothes and everything. And it's just, it was a hard experience, you know. I was w walking towards the um, garage door and my sister came passing through was like why is this happening to us she was crying it was chaotic oh, it gives me goosebumps just thinking about it still um, well bad goosebumps you know it's, it's scary I mean after that I just put all the stuff in the truck and I drove off
Okay, so we are here in, we'll call me Hill, or Moke Hill, and yeah, it is this covered in smoke. This is, um, what is it, I think day three right now. The fire, it is increasing, there's only 5% contained throughout this, uh, the foothills here. It's already going to San Andreas, and, uh, yeah. Even Angel's Camp is being evacuated, which I did a bay hunt a while back. And that is a red moon right there. Baffling. It looks interesting. I wouldn't say it's a I think it's because of the sun or something. But yeah, it, it is. It smells like a, a fire pit right now. It's that bad. Our house is fine, as we've so just stating that right now. Right now, it's fine. But yeah, I'm at. Uh, this is in Franks and Milk Hill. So yeah. Okay, so we're in San Andreas right now. This is the place where I did that one bay hunt at Kelly's Drugstore. Um, that's down the hill a little bit. But man, is this, this is terrible here. The fog, or the smoke is just in the air. You can even see, I mean, you guys could probably not see, but I see flakes of ashes in the air. It's that bad. Ugh. <coughs> Whoa, yeah. So yeah. Stay tuned of this video and we'll I'll show you the next part of this disaster week. Here's the last part. As you've seen before, I was heading to my truck to go check out the fire. Well, this whole place is gone now. And there we go. This is all the stuff. <laughs> two ramps that busted up there so it looks like they got that out of the way and it got torched yeah there's a fire hose that they've left but dang look at this and looks like that's a hole they tried to dig or took something out it's all the smoke or the ashes Yeah, and that goes into the next area. The man, they're really fighting this fire here. Here's the side of the house. Dang, look at that. All the fire. Almost got to the deck with a brand new one, but they saved it. Thank you firefighters, and thank you God for protecting this place. So yeah. So this is one of the houses. It is. This is one of the. This is actually where the st fire started coming up to us on this area. Oh my goodness! Actually, this guy. This was. He was planning to restore it or restoration and stuff, but looks like it got the back of his thing there, melted it. But this is actually quite sad because this is where we had some of the parties and everything. It's a beautiful home, and that's the back side. I mean, look at that. You can see that on the hills. There's green. There's all the fire. It just destroyed almost a lot of this stuff. Oh, oh my gosh. This is not my house, by the way, but... This is one of the houses that I was invited to for a few parties. There's the power lines. Look at all that. And the only thing left standing is this metal 
place here. Man. Well, next one. Here's one of the houses here. Two cars totaled, burnt up and melted. Oh man. Dang. So, there's one of the houses. All that's left is the chimney. It's frightening. Yeah, here's the next one. This thing got totaled. It's gone. Basketball hoops, the only thing standing. Here's the next one. Looks like two jet skis. The pickup truck still there. But dang, look at that. Two of the pickup trucks are dead. Or it's all burnt up. Man. Wow ash and everything. And there's part of the hill. We got some, looks to be some peacocks up there. Yeah, some peacocks, but dang, look at all that burnt. All the fire got to it. Well, we're back here, and this is pretty much the end of the video, of the, this mayhem video. I just want to tell you guys, I will still be making the videos and for Beyblade and everything. But I just wanted to share with some of my subscribers of a life experience that really came close to almost everything gone. I mean... Luckily, Dronzer Titan was already in my backpack from when I was working from Blacksmith, but, you know, at that time and everything, I can't struggle this enough, people. Your life is more important than an object or, you know, possession. So, yeah. Until next time, um, please stay tuned. I'll be doing videos and everything, but, yeah. Please leave a comment in the comment section of your experiences and how this may have been somewhere. But yeah. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.